Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for version 1.19. In this tutorial we are going to be covering fuels. So, as I have been saying in all of my tutorials, this is extremely simple. So let's just get started with it. So, the item I'm going to be making a fuel is our example 2 item. Now all you need to do is come into your item in it where you have registered this item and after you do a new item you can just add a curly brace and just like that now you can just override the get burn time method and say return 500 for example and that means this will now burn for 500 ticks that is a fuel that's it it's really as simple as that. Let's say, um, let's say you want a block to have this, right? We can just remove that. Um, actually, we'll do it there for now. And yeah, okay. Let's say we want a block to have this. Now, this is going to be a little more complicated, but not too much more complicated. So, all we need to do. We'll say private static final t or not final t extends block registry object of t register string name supplier of t supplier item dot properties properties exact same as this method here we're going to copy the internals of this method as well and all you need to do we're going to add an int parameter there to this burn time and you can simply do add some curly braces here get burn time return burn time and that's it. Now you have a block item with a burn time. So you can just use, uh, instead of this here, you can just add an extra integer on the end for 500. And boom, you're now using this, this method. And now it will have a burn time. Fantastic. However, you'll see that this is a little bit messy. Um, you can do this. That's perfectly fine. If you only intend to have one or two items burnable, then this is this is pretty ideal. Um, however, let's say you wanted a ton of items to be burnable and not block items. So we will just remove this method real quick because we're not going to mess with those. Let's say you wanted a ton of items to be burnable. Um, it's really going to clog up your class because this is quite a big sort of um, one item now. So how do we how do we make it better? Well, we can just create a new item class so let's create a new file and i'm going to make this in the base package i'm literally just going to call this fuel item that was meant to be a class let's try again didn't like that um thanks intellij absolute jank right let's try again fuel <laughs> item Okay, and all this needs to do, extends item, add the constructor, rename these two properties, and then all you need to do, override get burn time, let's create an integer, private final int burn time, and we can add in here int burn time. This dot burn time is equal burn time. Return this dot burn time. Great, that's it. Um, you can also obviously do special functions here. So you could say, for example, if item stack dot um, has has foil. 
right? So if it has the sort of um, enchantment effect on it, then you could say 200 or else it's 500. I don't know, just just an example. Um, but we'll just use desktop burn time. There you go. And now in your item in it, instead of having all this junk here, you can just say a new fuel item. And as a second argument, you can add 500. Alt enter, just import the class. And boom, that's it. That is literally it. You, you now have a fuel item. We can go and test it. Uh, I do want to delete this, but there you go. Now it's deleted, fantastic. Let's just let's go and test it, shall we? So let's run the game, and we'll see we'll see if it works or not. Okay, here we are. We've got a furnace down. Let's put some gold ore in there. Let's put our item in there, and boom! It's a fuel. There's not much to say about these tutorials. They are very simple, at least at the start here. Um, there's not much to them. We will get on to more complex things later, of course. However. Uh, for now, this is what we're going to be doing. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's working as a fuel for about 500 ticks. If you did find this tutorial useful, then please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Good. Bye.